This was uh, very frustrating. Uh, it was unnecessary. Innovation and Science Minister Navdi Baines says he was racially targeted by security agents at a Detroit, Michigan airport last year. Going through the security checkpoint, went through the metal detector, uh, and then there was some challenges and issues with the swab machine. Uh, it didn't work the first time properly. Uh, I was asked to remove my turban. Uh, they did another test, and I was ultimately allowed to go through. But after refusing to remove his turban and passing through security, Baines was again approached by officials at his gate and was asked to return to security because he had to remove his turban. It wasn't until security officials asked Baines for identification and he showed them his diplomatic passport that he was allowed to board his plane without having to take off his turban. It speaks of discrimination and discrimination happens with many people. For Sikhs, wearing a turban is considered a sacred act that requires them to cover their hair in public. But it isn't the first time a Sikh man has been asked to remove his turban at an airport. Comedian Jasmeet Singh, better known to YouTubers as Just Rain, was forced to remove his turban at a San Francisco airport. It's fully embarrassing, it's demoralizing, and it's something that I don't wish like anybody should have to go through. Canada's National Defence Minister has also found himself questioning actions of security officials. Sometimes it just takes is asking them questions like uh, about, uh, you know, uh, the, that I have to remove my turban. I'm like, no, you don't. Uh, and then they, they're saying, no, it's in regulations. And so normally what I question is, I said, please show me the regulations where it states that, right? And that's when they realize, is, well, okay, wait a minute, you know a little bit more. As for Minister Baines, Canadian officials at Foreign Affairs raised the issue with Americans. Eventually, they apologized for the incident. In Ottawa, Nigel Newlove, City News.